uh, of the stadium's first derby. Do you feel like it might be a bit of a different build-up to a derby this week? Uh, yeah, oh, it's, it's exciting. It's a great thing for WA to have the first derby at the new stadium. And uh, both our team, both WA teams are playing well. And Freo had a really good win on the weekend. So it's exciting for the state and it's going to be a big build-up. And hopefully we can keep playing the way we have the last few weeks. How does the team feel about being on the top of the ladder? I mean, it's better to be on top than uh, towards the bottom. I know we're only five rounds in, but uh, to be top of the ladder is nice at the moment. But as you see, the competition at the moment, it's so tired. And, I think mean, Carlton was still down the bottom, but they gave us a hell of a run for our money on the weekend. And you see how well Adelaide were against Sydney and undermanned Adelaide. And the competition's so tight, and anything can happen on a given day. So, I mean, we're, we're happy where we are at the moment, but there's so much more improvement to go, and we haven't achieved anything yet. You played in front of a home crowd at Rockwood Stadium. What do you think it'd be like playing in front of 50 odd thousand Dockers supporters? Yeah, it'll be tough, it'll be weird. Yeah. Uh, it's obviously going to be so, so much more louder, I think, than what. Patterson Stadium, Domain Stadium was, and uh, 50,000 people hating us. But hopefully, we get a 5, 10,000 section that are that are embracing us, and it's all it's just all part of derbies, and we'll get our turn later in the year. But hopefully, we can uh, get the first get the first win. It's going to be pretty intimidating. It's going to be very loud there. Oh yeah, it's yes yeah, loud. I mean, it's loud at the Adelaide Oval and the G when, uh, when we play interstate. So it's almost like a bit of an interstate feel in terms of the crowd, but. We've played the Oval really well so far in terms of dimensions, so we expect to win whenever we play. Gaffey, you've played in the grand final. Is that the closest thing you can pair it to in terms of atmosphere, do you think, this weekend? Yeah, probably. Probably. I mean, we talked about the Adelaide Oval experience last year when we won that final. That's almost as loud as it gets, and there's been comparisons between how loud Adelaide Oval is compared to um, the new stadium, so it's going to be a big test uh, for our sort of maturity as a group, as how far we come as to how we uh, deal with this weekend and as we said for our, some quality players and they're playing really well at the moment especially over here so we have no doubt it's going to be tough like they always are. And the side's form, what have you seen as the biggest, not difference, but what have you seen as the main contributor this season? Oh, uh, you, it, goes in, it goes in cycles a bit, we've got a lot, lot of new guys coming in and that just creates a bit of extra enthusiasm around the team and yes we've lost Venables and, and, and Ryan for a few weeks but we've got guys stepping up, Jake Wardman's playing really well, Willie Rioli's fitted in really well so just that uh, excitement from those younger guys and the older guys embracing that but also playing their bit uh, in terms of performing well, our leaders playing well and we weren't at our absolute best on the weekend but it's a credit to sort of how far we've come that we can still grind away without playing uh, to our best. A couple of goals from you came from almost steals, is that part of the press? Is it sort of that you guys press up more and now you can create those turnovers? Is that a part of the game that's improved? Oh, a little bit. I mean, sometimes. It's a couple of those, a bit, bit of luck on the weekend, it, just the way it comes out a few times. But, oh, we, I mean, uh, defence and pressing is a big part of um, of our game as, as a West Coast Eagles player. So uh, we try and be that every week, and, and some weeks are going to be better than others, but uh, our whole game is built on the contest and, and defence. Looking at Fremantle's midfield, how do you rate them as a unit and how dangerous are they? Yeah, they're a quality midfield. They're um, well renowned around the AFL as being one of the better midfields in the comp when you've got Fife, Neil, Mundy's. Money's been quality for so many years. Obviously, Sandlands in the ruck is, is hard to combat, but we've, I think we've won the last few derbies uh, in a row. So it gives us confidence that um, we're hopefully going to do the same. And we know the game's won and lost in the middle. And um, if, we're, if we're, we're a bit off like we probably were on the weekend, it sort of comes, up, comes down a chance a bit. Yeah, five's back to his ground low medal winning form. How much of the focus goes into stopping him this weekend? Yeah, definitely quite a bit. We know the combination between Sandlands and Fife is probably one of the more prominent ones in the AFL, so we're going to spend a lot of time on him as we do most of the other midfielders. And um, we've, got a, we've got two quality ruckmen uh, with Scotty and Nick, um, as, as we all know, and if they can give us first, first hand, it's up to us little guys to, to get the job done. So, as I said before, it's going to be one loss in the midfield, but it's exciting. How do you assess it? Because Ruck has been so dominant this season, but this is their first major, major test. Do you just back your guys in that they're going to win it, or do you have to now take into account that Sam Lads is going to win yeah, oh, I think it's almost 50 50. I think you can't go into a game against Sandlands thinking that you're going to win 100% of the taps because I don't think it happens. But it's that fine line between thinking of your own plans but also trying to combat them, which, which we do most weeks. But most weeks probably don't have a, as dominant, dominant Ruckman that we've um, got on the other side as, as Freo do with Sandlands. You mentioned you won the last five. You won the last five, I think. Yeah. Do you feel like you have put over the race of time? 
Oh, I think, I think we've, yeah, as you said, we've not won the last five, but I think before then they might have won the last six or eight. So it's funny how it's gone in waves a bit, but they're always tough games against Freo, you know. A little bit like Sydney, whenever you, uh, whenever you beat Freo, you know you've, you've played really well. So I'm sure it's not going to change. It's not feel, it doesn't feel like any of them have been a real blowout. So they've all been pretty close and I'm sure uh, Sunday will be the same. Psychologically though, how big is this first one at the new stadium for the two clubs? Yeah, it's big. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's history. So whoever wins it can't say that uh, they didn't, didn't win it. Um, so it's going to be big, as I said, big, big for the state of WA and hopefully we can continue uh, and make it six in a row. Did you feel there was a lack of pace against Carlton in the weekend when a couple of these guys have gone out or do you think that you can go with the same team and back in the league speed you've got? Oh no, I think I think what we had on the weekend was was good and Carlton we knew Carlton were going to be a lot better than they had been in previous weeks and uh, to, to put it right up to us was, was really encouraging for them and, and we thought they played really well. And, uh, but we know we've got to be, got to be better against Freya, who are sort of I think, right, right on the eight. And, um, whether it's midfield, forward or defence, we've got to be better uh, this week. Bailey Banfield's been doing a job for them. Um, if you come to see you, is that something you, you embrace? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I've, I've had uh, quite a bit of that before. So um, if that happens, it happens. If it's, if it's someone else or whether they decide to, to do something else, um, we'll make sure we're ready. Uh, like, like we are, like we are most weeks. Always. Nathan Wilson, when he first came over to the West, his first presser said he hates the Eagles and you're either Eagles or Dockers. Uh, did you guys put that in your memory back? Oh, I hadn't heard of that, to be honest. No, I hadn't heard, but, oh, man, he's a free player. Uh, such a big rivalry in WA and, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be on from, from the first bounce and we're looking forward to it. As they are, we've both got the same amount to play for. Um, and as I said before, the competition's so tight that if you drop games here and there, you're going to be under the pump. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be nice and ready. Do you have a similar feeling going back the other way to Freo? Or is Hayden a bit too strong a word? Oh, I think it's a little bit, a little bit too strong. I mean, we, we play a different team every week. Um, it's always probably a little bit, little bit nicer. Nicer beating Freo, no doubt. But as, we, as I know, from, I think when they won six or eight in a row uh, against us, it's always tough and uh, you hate that side of things. But Oh, it's it's uh, it's probably more than another game this week. Would have been first derby at the new stadium, but it's exciting. Oh, no, nothing's really changed since uh, what I spoke about a couple of weeks ago. Um, last few contracts I've done later in the year, and we'll sort of get onto that um, as the year progresses. But really uh, happy and it's exciting how our team's going uh, at the moment. A lot of young guys playing really well and a lot, lot of enthusiasm, so uh, it's really encouraging. They could go uh, with Tabena injured and not playing. Is it hard to judge whether they're going to go small or bring in a, another forward? And will that challenge you uh, this weekend? Because they were pretty impressive when they went small on the weekend. Yeah, they were. I mean, Walters is obviously a dangerous threat um, whenever he plays. He can kick five on the weekend, and Valentine's been a good player for several years. So, And then with Matera, I think he's slotted in nicely as well. So uh, we feel like our back, backline group's got guys that can play on small and tall. Brad Shepard's done it. Numerous times, Shannon Hearn, obviously our captain's done it many times and we feel like our back line's as good as any in the comp, so um, we'll back them to get it, jo get it done, but we can't rely on them too much. Gaffy, are there any doctors players that you are actually made to? Do you trade text with anyone through this week? Oh, not really. No, a few in my early days, a few boys from Oakley, uh, Oakley charters that aren't there, aren't there anymore, I used to catch up with, but no, it's funny, they sort of, they sort of live obviously close to Freya and we live close to Perth, so... We don't really bump into them too much, or well, I don't, but um, no, they're all nice guys and we, we bump into them on the odd occasion.